Hey guys, it's Lindsay, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some of the resources that we're using for our human body unit study for quarter two in our homeschool. I'm back to doing homeschooling videos for you guys to share with you guys some of the things that we've been enjoying. I also have a big stack of books from the library, and then this is my resource here. Um, but I'm going to share with you guys the things that we've been enjoying and some of the projects that we've done. And it's a very simple human body unit study. I have a first and third grader, so I'm just trying to just introduce them to the basics of things and make it fun and simple this year. This is what we use in the morning time to read um, devotions that pertain to the human body. We don't do this every single day, um, but this one, they talked about the smell, and this book I refer to a lot. I have the second volume, but... Um, this one I wanted to use for the human body, and the other one I'll look through it too, because I'm sure there's some um, that we haven't read. But this is Indescribable Devotion. I'll try to link all the books that I have here so you guys can check it out or check it out at your library. This is the Ears to Hear devotional. I really love the, the layout. It gives like a scripture and some facts and some illustrations and it just ties in really nicely with the human body unit study. This is Taste and See, so we read that one, and we're all in this together, so it's talking about the body cells, so we've read that as well. So those are just a few things that I tabbed for you guys, and also they have another one, How Great Is Our God, that has probably stuff about the human body, but I like to start the day off reading this, so we would read this maybe two or three times out of the week, so it's not like we read it every single morning. We have other devotions. Now, I'm going to share with you guys my favorites first because I think it's important at the beginning of the video to share with you guys the things that we're enjoying a lot of. This is the body book by Scholastic. It's grades three through six. I have a first grader and a third grader, and it works out beautifully. This is probably $10 or less. I got introduced to this book by Megan from... Um, snips and sale. I'll try to link her channel below. She was the one that did a human body unit study a couple years ago and I was looking at the materials that she had and this book was something that she was doing with her kids and it is wonderful for my son who's in first grade that absolutely loves cutting things out. So these are the like templates that you um, make photocopies of and cut and that you tape or paste and they're very simple and it explains like how to make the model building the understanding, the objectives. And so this is done in a classroom setting, or you could do it in like a co-op or the way I'm doing it with my kids. So it is awesome. Like guys, I'm enjoying it immensely. So I'm going to hop over to the other table where I showed some models that we've done so far. So you can see what I mean by how awesome they are. Okay, so here are the models. My son hasn't finished this one yet, um, but this is the one that we did um, last week so there is the outer eye and you like literally tape it and the cornea and the cornea was my favorite part used to ran wrap i love it i got i get so excited about this and then um we have to label all of these we didn't label all of them the retina and then you pull a layer back and that's the blood vessel she labeled that one and then the optic nerve I love the layers in this. I think it's very, very cool um, for the kids to understand just, you know, the layers behind your eye. And in the book, they have a discussion section where I can talk to the kids about it. And then I also use other resources from the library while the kids are doing this. So it works out great. Um, this is one that my son and my daughter have made. And so I'll just open up this one. So these are the lips, and then you open it up, and then it's the teeth. And these are the senses, the taste buds, sour, salty, and sweet. And then I just cut open this for them. And then there are little, like, things like Advil, lemon, salty things, sweet things. And then they put them on the taste buds, and they put them back into their throat. So, like, it's like they're eating it. And then I have these that they made. Um, let me take this one out. This is just our like portfolio that I have to show the teacher that's a certified teacher for Florida. And so I just put them in these protective sheets. So that's the femur. My son did this one and then my daughter did this one. So um, these are really cool. You see the brain, you open up the eyes and you see the inside of the nose. You see the cheek. Oh, that's not the cheek. <laughs> you see the ears for hearing, because this is like the first one you do for the senses. 
on the mouth. So I love these flaps, um, the cheek and touch. So they show the finger inside of it. And she just put like a pearl necklace on it. <laughs> but this took like quite some time, but they were so proud of their project. And he did one too. He did such a good job. Like my first grader really loves it. And then this is the thigh bone and the marrow inside of it. So I hope you guys got like an understanding of like what this book is all about. I think this book is awesome. Here's the table of contents and I'll just let you pause it so you could read, but it goes over the skeleton inside of a tooth, brain, digestive, respiratory, urinary, muscles, eyes, senses, everything. And I'll do like a quick flip through because it's just very detailed. And so everything there's like discussion points there's templates to make photocopies they're so simple all you need is to copy it or you can buy two books if you have two kids or three books if you don't want to make copies you could rip them right out if you're lazy um i'm certainly lazy but i just i have a photocopier and it's just black it's not like it's color print so it's cheap and so yeah i'm excited we're gonna have so much fun doing this and there's lots of making connections and discussing it as a group and then what I like to do as we're coloring and cutting this, I use the first human body encyclopedia. So for instance, um, when we were doing the eyes, which is not right here, um, where is it? This is one of my favorite books for my first and third grader. I feel like the pictures are great. I could read it to them while they're cutting and pasting. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. So the taste and smell, um, that's not what I was going to talk about. We did this part where we looked at the eye and I was just reading all of the captions and all the paragraphs and talking about everything and eye colors and how we see while they're cutting it out. And it worked out great. It's very relaxed, very organic. Um, this is just a part of our homeschool that we do um, during the morning time or sometimes we'll do it in the late afternoon. It's not like something that we do every day. We do it uh, once or twice out of the week. We do our human body unit study. Um, sometimes we read the devotional, let's say, for instance. We might read this more than when we do projects like um, the body book. But this is mainly what we're using to do the little projects. I absolutely think that this is the best investment ever. If you make photocopies, it's so cheap. You can buy one for each kid if you want to. Um, but I feel like these three books would be a great start to the human body. My other favorite one that I would suggest is Professor Noggin, the human body card game. It's a trivia game. Um, this was suggested by my friend Hannah from Pepper and Pine. And these are trivia cards. This is like eyes and sight, heart, um, blood. So for instance, these are trivia cards. It has the instructions here, super simple. You just um, ask the student questions and there's the answers here. Um, you just roll a dice and one through two, and then you read the question. If they're very good at it and you get really good, then you go to scholar. So they're student and scholar, and I love it. So I'm going to get, and the pictures are really awesome, guys. If they're trying to, you know, this is germs on your tongue, the eyesight, these pictures are really, let me try to focus it. These pictures are really, really good. So even having the pictures in general, and asking a few questions to your kids throughout the week playing this game is so informative and I've learned so much stuff from the human body through this game and I would I think I spent less than $15 on this it depends it ranges from like 12 to $15 I would suggest this along with the body book and describable if you're a Christian and you like devotionals the human body encyclopedia I got this from the library and the other book that I would suggest if you want to keep it really simple, sorry, it gets out of focus, is the Zoe and Zasserfass, uh unicorn and germs. So they talked about germs and the imaginary uh, unicorn, and this is what it looks like. Um, but Zoe and Zasserfass has a series of books talking about science, and her and her mom work on science experiments together. And my kids really like this. This was the first time we ever read it, and I got this from the library. I didn't buy it because I figured... Um, if they like it a lot, maybe I'll get the whole series for them um, for Christmas. This is kind of under my daughter's reading level, or maybe at the reading level. So if I do buy this series, I don't want to purchase it if it's something that she will probably not read in the future. But if you have like a second grader going to third, this is awesome purchase for Christmas. Um, I have a first grader, so maybe I might get this for my first grader next year. Um, he might like reading this when he starts reading really well. And so those would be my absolute like favorites 
if you just want to keep the unit body study really simple. I'm all about simple this year. This is a great bones um, reader that I really love. So this is for your early readers that can read all about bones. I got this at a thrift store, I think, or the library. Inside, your outside, the cat in the hat. This is very informative. It gives lots of awesome illustrations and it explains everything in rhyme. So if your kids are visual, this is so fun. Even for my third grader, she liked it a lot. So I would suggest like kindergarten through third or fourth grade. This is another book that I like a lot um, that I would recommend if you can find it. I got it used, I think on thrift books. It's called Your Inside, See Your Inside Body by Usborne. And it goes over all of your body parts in a very, very fun way. You can like flip and see your poop, which is disgusting, but the kids think it's hysterical. Um, you can see your blood vessels. I mean, this book is super, super durable for even a kindergartner. My kindergartner loved it last year. And I just love the little flaps and they're very, very durable. It's very hard to rip things off. Pumping blood. I'll try to leave it in my Amazon link. I don't know if you can, I think it's like $18 on my Amazon link. I tried like putting it on my storefront. I don't know if you could purchase it, probably used, um, but it's a great book for, you know, introducing your kids to their body in a very, you know, gentle way without grossing them out. Um, I also got this 18 inch easel paper roll. I got two of them. Um, I was gonna put 18 together with 18 to make it a wider roll and I was gonna trace their bodies. They were gonna do their outer body, like their clothes, and then they were gonna do all of the layers of their body. I don't know like how I'm gonna do it. I was thinking maybe like this, where it's like um, their bodies with the outfit and then maybe their muscles and bones and um, nervous system. I don't know. That might be a, a big, big project. Um, or we just might trace bodies. So we haven't gotten to that yet. I thought I was going to do it at the beginning, but it's a little overwhelming for me. So maybe I will try to do it in the next few weeks before Christmas because I know they've been wanting to do it. So this was not an, not really expensive, but it's a fun project to do for the human body. And um, you can use the paper for anything else, you know, if you feel like maybe it's it would be a good Christmas present to have for them to do artwork on and then you can trace their bodies. That would be just fun to do in itself. Looking Into My Body is a Reader's Digest book that I found at a thrift store when I first started thrifting. I don't know if they have it, but this book is so good. The Scholastic My Body, this is a classic book you can get at the library. I got this used, you can see, um, but I was actually going to get this at the library and then I was like, wait a minute, I think I have it. So this is good for kindergarten, first grade, if you're just trying to teach them the basics. And the pictures are not gross or anything. It's just cartoon like looking, but it explains everything. So for instance, even if you were doing the senses, there's these little pages to read to your kids so that they can understand. And I think it's great. I think this is a really good one for them just to look on their own. Um, I also have the giant science um, resource book that I've talked about a lot on my channel by Evan Moore and let me show you the human body section there's all different sections I would suggest this for anyone to buy they talk about life science environmental earth and physical and space so I bought this for the space part and um, now I can use it for human body so if you want a book that is very resourceful and has lots of different themes for science this is a book if you're on a budget just to grab and you can use this for years. I think it was in the $20 range, um, but here's the five senses. So they show you these little graphs. Oh, they show the, you these graphs, hearing and seeing, and it's just something that you could read to them. You can make photocopies of. Um, it's just very visual and very black and white, and you can make copies and they can color it. There's a body puzzle to make. It talks about teeth. This is the body puzzle you can make photocopies of that I thought would be fun. But since we're tracing the body, I don't know if we're going to do it. This one we might do where we cut out the skeleton. And it's just a very short section. But there's lots of different sections in here about habitats and stuff like that that you can make copies of and read to the kids. And it's all black and white. Um, this is a book I'm going to share with you guys, like some library books that I've enjoyed. Um, I have already shared like my favorite library book, the Zoe and Zassifras and the DK one, but these are really good too. These are the ones I've read for their morning basket. So this is peeking under your skin. I don't know why I couldn't say peeking under your skin. And it's kind of like this. It's like, I don't know if you can see the whole book cause it's pretty long. 
um, I'm gonna turn around, but this is really good for a uh, early elementary age kid. And it shows you like all the layers of like your skin and your hair. And we're actually gonna be doing skin and hair soon. Um, so this one's a really cool picture book. This one is the DK Human Body um, Smithsonian book. And with this book, it's definitely more advanced, but I do like going through it so they can actually see like true inside of your body, non-cartoonish, you know what I mean? Kind of gross, some of the things. So inside of a cell, um, the DNA. These are some things that we haven't looked at like the whole book, but my kids like to look through these DK books and just, you know, check things out. But they're very, very realistic. Um, and I love it. I think it's great. Um, all of these models are super, super realistic. And I think it's important to have something like this for them to like look through. There might be some stuff that's a little bit gross. Like my daughter was grossed out by that, but that's what we look like, right? And the inside of our body. This is definitely good for like a middle schooler or a high schooler, um, and even elementary. I think it's cool just to go through this and, and discuss things with them. There's like stuff that you might not want to show your kids until later on, um, but you might. It depends on how your family rolls. So there's some stuff that might be a little too advanced or too much for your young ones, um, but I definitely would recommend this book um, to get from the library because it's like $18, $20 online. I'll link it. Um, this might be something I might purchase um, one day, uh, but I definitely want to buy like the ocean one soon and they have a really cool like DK cars, trains, and automobiles for Christmas would be fun for um, my kids. This one is the Busy Body Book and I read this to them. It's just a fun book talking about kids guide to fitness and what your body does. This was really really neat so I think that these little books are fun to just read to the kids in the morning time and there's like a little storyline to it and I like how they have like these pages here where it talks more about um, the specific parts of your body and how it applies to like what they're talking about in the story so I really really enjoyed that one as well um, we're different we're the same is a Sesame Street book that I saw I was like oh this is so cool because um, we're all different but our, like all of our noses are different and they were showing Snuffleupagus and all that stuff. So I think it's really fun. It's just showing the difference between all of us and our skin tones. And then they put the puppets in there, which I think is so cute. So I think um, a kid that's younger would like this. But my kids thought it was funny. And I love Sesame Street. Sesame Street is one of my favorite kids shows that I don't even mind watching now. This is the fantastic body, what makes you tick and how you get sick. This is one that we've looked through a little bit. Here's the contents. This would be a fun book to have in your homeschool library. I know a lot of you guys are minimal like me, so some of these I like to get from the library. And then if my kids really, really, really love it, then I will purchase it. So it's nice to try it out, check it out, and see if it's something that, you know, you want to have in your library. It's about all of the stuff like mucus and lice and just things, germs in general. So it might be a good uh, thing to read, especially during the virus, so that the kids can understand how we spread germs. This one is a good one called Power Up, and I read this a few weeks ago, talking about power in the city and how we have power in our body and, you know, connecting those two together. This one's a book that I would say is good for like any age, but there's some parts in here where they're talking about how they make babies. You might want not want to talk about that with your kids until they're older, um, but they do it in a very tasteful way. It's called Everything You Need to Know About the Human Body Includes Web Links. So this one is fun for probably, you know, kids in the later elementary age group, like fifth grade, middle school. So if I had all of these books and resources when I was in school, and I was doing unit studies like this, I think I would really learn a lot. And so that is why I do unit studies with my kids because here's the Making Babies one. Um, because, I don't know, I just feel like everything was workbooks and um, textbooks. And I love workbooks. Our family does workbooks all the time, but I really enjoy like good literature, good resource books like these. 
um, that are so like fun to look through instead of like the boring textbooks that schools have. <laughs> I never really enjoyed that at all. So this is just a little glimpse of, you know, this book. I think this is definitely a really good one. Guys, I hope you guys got some ideas from this. I hope you understood that you could make a unit study really simple like I do um, and not make it too overwhelming for yourself. The whole point is to have fun with your kids and hopefully they'll be introduced to something that they've never been introduced to before and then they can understand, you know, parts of their body and things that they've never known about their body before. It's a beautiful thing if they have questions about it because then you can dig deeper into those things. Um, I think my son is more into um, understanding his body than my daughter, um, which is really interesting because he's younger, but it's really, really cool. He is very happy when we do um, our science unit study through the week, and it makes me happy that he's excited about one of the subjects that we do in school. So if you guys have um, kids that you know are getting bored of you know, doing language and math and, and you need something to spice up your homeschool, it's really fun to start a, a small little unit study. You can do it for a week, you can do it for a couple weeks, you can do it for a quarter like mine. And when you do it for longer periods of time, um, you can really, you know, take your time and not stress yourself out to get everything done all at once. So I have these library books renewed. I've had them for a month and a half or so. <laughs> so, um, I think, yeah, a month, a month and a half or so, and I renewed them, so I have them for a little bit longer, so we're going to try to do this before the holidays and a little bit after, and then we're going to go on to our next unit study. So my, the objective of my unit study is not to learn every single thing and have them memorize every single thing, it's just to introduce them to their body, and I think that these books and resources are a very good way to do so. I'd love to have you guys join our family on here at Mama Schmooze Homeschool Reviews. Bye, guys.